this is a washer. This washer has a little gap in it, a groove. Um, it's cut. And this is a magnet. And if you take that washer and wrap it around with some copper, enamel coated copper wire, connect one side to ground and one side to uh, the input of an op amp. And with this little groove in it that you could sort of see right there, a little gap. And if you connect that to that, and you put a magnet to it, apply a moving magnetic field at it, um, it makes a cool DJ scratch noise. And you can flip the side to the... So we are going to exploit that. The schematic for it is on the left and that is what we made so stay tuned so this is a conventional playhead on the tape deck and it's wired with um, one side going to ground and uh, two inputs and the two inputs you see are uh, one for the left channel and one for the right channel so it's, this is a stereo tape head um, and uh, basically one the the side uh, the other side goes to ground. So here's my tape head, um, makeshift tape head, and it's connected through this cable to an iPad that's going to be playing music. And um, here's another tape head that I got from an old cassette deck um, that is basically, it comes with a whole bunch of attachments, but you only need two attachments, one to either side and um it's a tape playback head and you can see it right there um and in the middle of it is where it plays so i'm going to try to do a redo an experiment that was already on youtube um and so i have a whole bunch of wires connected to it but only two wires are needed one that goes to the pre-amplifier which is this op amp right there on the bottom right, um, and uh, one side that goes to ground. And let's see if I can use this um, and redo this experiment. So here's take one of the experiment. I'm going to put the, some music on and see what I could do with it. So now I have the music playing on the iPad from the headphones, and it's going through this little um, makeshift tape head and here's this other tape head that's connected and if I touch the two sides just right works pretty well. It doesn't even have to be touching. It's just close to it. That's loud. And if you move it side by side, That's pretty good. That works like a charm. And all it is, is basically this um, little washer with um, a hole in it, a gap in it. And um, it's wrapped with um, copper wire. And uh, one side goes to ground, one side goes to the input signal of uh, this 
Jack. Oh, let me turn off the music. Um, so now that I have a playhead, but I could actually use this as a playhead, like real DIY stuff. Um, not just your average, uh, regular DIY stuff, um, where I reuse a playhead. This is obviously a well-made playhead, um, from an actual tape deck from like the 1990s. Um, and, uh, it works fairly well. So, um, uh, we'll see where we could take this. Here it goes again, another experiment with a different song. I don't, I'm not even getting close to it. I'm getting close to it, but not touching it. Look, no hands. I'm not... You can see the magnetic... Well, that's the end of the song. Um, now I'm doing DJ scratches with it. So in this way, this tape head, this makeshift tape head is uh, functioning like a recording tape head where an audio signal is given into it and the, um, the output of it is going through uh, or um, is going into it and the magnetic field, um, there's an AC current going through this wire and the magnetic field uh, that's generated in this little washer with the gap. There's a little magnetic field uh, across this gap, and that's being read by this playhead. And so, when I um, when I put an audio signal through this, it actually um, it actually transmits through the tape head, and there's a you know the tape head is going to a um, um, op amp to amplify it. And it's just going out to um, to my general amplifier uh, speaker that I've been using for everything, and it sounds it sounds pretty good. That's pretty good audio production. So this is the recording head. If I put a piece of magnetic tape across this, it would literally record on that tape. Um, and uh, so um, yeah, that's um, that's pretty good. So. Thanks for watching.